Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's Barbara here. How are we all doing? It's Saturday the, I think it's the 20th of May. Yes, it's the 20th of May. It's around about um, half 10, quarter to 11 in the morning. And Aaron's just gone out for a bit of shopping and to spend a bit of time with his family. But I am coming in to bring you a really exciting vlog that I have had planned since the publisher says they're going to send me a copy of this book. It is one of my most anticipated of 2023. It is one of my sort of favourite authors of recent times. I have recently read one of their backlists which I'm going to explain to you in a second. Absolutely loved it, gave it five stars and I cannot believe that when I came home on Thursday evening after a long day polling at the elections here in Northern Ireland I received a final copy of the book and the book in question <laughs> is The Last Word by Taylor Adams and if you didn't know Taylor Adams is the author of No Exit and yes I read No Exit last year and absolutely loved it. I read it in one sitting, I think I read it in about five or six hours and it was absolutely amazing. So yes I have the brand new release in my hands. I cannot believe it. I thought I was going to have to pre-order and buy it but no the publisher decided yes Barb we will send you a copy. So I have a copy in my hands here now. So what this vlog is going to be, basically, this is what I have planned. Whether it goes this way, I'm unsure. I don't know, but you'll see, obviously, as you're watching it. It's Saturday morning. And my mum's coming down for a quick cup of tea um, this afternoon. It's actually my granny Vance's um, four-year anniversary of her passing. Um, she died, and we've all just been very, you know, it's obviously an upsetting time and it was it was a great loss and it's four years today so it was my mum's mum and she's going to come down for a quick cup of tea we're going to just I wanted to get her out of the house and just get her sort of not thinking about obviously today and she's going to come down for maybe an hour or so and yeah just see the house there's lots of changes have happened in the house so she's dying to get down and it's just going to be so good and then when she goes um roughly about half two maybe three o'clock me and the lovely Rebecca have decided to basically sit and read this book until we're finished so the last book that we did that we, we read was The Fall by Louise Jensen uh, a couple of weeks ago it was an arc um it was out in April and we flat out just sat for a whole day voice note voice noting each other back and forward where we were just reading the same chapters at the same time and it was absolutely it actually added to the reading and the experience of reading that book and we read it within about I'd say seven or eight hours so I'm going to give myself seven to eight hours and this is going to be an eight hour vlog I'm just going to sit for eight hours on and off obviously I'll get dinner I'll get lunch whatever I'll talk to Aaron I'll sit with him I'll play with Novak I'll walk him but I'm hoping today to have finished The Last Word by Taylor Adams and I'm so so excited so I'm going to tell you what it's about I mean even even the synopsis is like I need to read this right now do you ever get those kind of those kind of books that you read the synopsis and you're like no but I have to read it now this is oh this sounds absolutely amazing so if you give this book a one star review you might end up dead. Emma is house sitting on the rainy Washington coast with only her golden retriever for company. She likes the isolation, the peace and quiet and the opportunity to read. But her latest pick, a poorly written and gruesome horror novel, is disappointing and Emma leaves a one star review. A message quickly dings back. The author, H.G. Kane, has replied and he's furious. Emma brushes it off until disturbing incidents start to occur. Scratches in the night, a figure crawling around in the shadows. Oh my god. Kate Cain has written 16 other novels, all similarly sadistic tales of stalking and murder. He knows he's a brilliant writer, he just needs to make Emma understand. Expect the unexpected in this post pulse pounding novel of psycho psychological suspense and terror from the critically acclaimed author of the TikTok sensation No Exit. Uh, okay, does that not give you all, all the vibes? Oh my god, I cannot wait to read it. Oh my God, Rebecca said to me the other day that she's got a neck alley arc, so she's reading it um, digitally and she had read the first chapter because she just literally was like, Barbara, I can't, I just can't wait. And she said she was creeped out like no, to no end. She says it was really, really creepy. So not only have we decided not to read it in the dark, we've decided to read it this afternoon. So it might not be just as creepy and disturbing as what she thinks it's going to be. So yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. I can't wait to get stuck into a good book and hopefully read it in one sitting. It's been a while since I've done that, as I say, other than The Fall by Louise Jensen. And that was a five star. It was epic. Absolutely loved it. 
so yeah that's what the plan is today um i'm not feeling overly great i feel like i'm starting a chest infection or something but i'm hoping to carb it down i'm taking loads of cough medicine and my steroid inhalers so hopefully that won't develop into a full, full bone sort of chest infection because we don't need it i start my new job on monday and i just want to be yeah just at the top of my game if i can just for meeting new people and starting a new job and things so yeah it's all kicking off here but yeah I just wanted to come in and quickly introduce the vlog and let you know what was happening and I can't like I can't even wait to have to although I have to, I want to see my mum and everything and have a cup of tea with her and catch up and all that good stuff but yeah really really excited so yeah catch up I'll catch up with you later on once my mum goes I'll catch up with you and I've, I've touched base with Rebecca and yeah I will bring you along for the ride and I don't know if I'm going to make this a spoiler vlog or a non-spoiler vlog probably because it's quite a short book I might make it a spoiler vlog but I'll pop in a <clears throat> massive big text to say that it's spoilers and I'll tell you throughout the video listen it, this is spoilers so if you want to just um fast forward so I may do that because yeah it, it might not be a very long vlog and I would like to be able to talk about the book and everything so yeah that's I can't wait to start this one. If you've already read this one, before you go in, if you've already read it, let me know in the comments. Talk to me down below. What did you think of it? Were you really excited, uh, you know, to read it? I know a lot of the my American uh, book community friends have been receiving it in their book of the month. So I know a lot of them have read it. I'm actually going to go into the Discord now and ask, has anyone read it? To see what their thoughts are. And then at the end of the vlog, I'll go into Goodreads and read out some of the non-spoiler reviews and things. And we'll compare my thoughts to... Um, what what you guys thought and everybody else in the big community so yeah really excited and rambling on as usual seven minute intro what is going on barb but yeah i'll chat to you later on Okay, guys so I am currently 46 pages in to The Last Word by Taylor Adams and I wanted to to my first check up or check in and give you a prediction an early on prediction that both me and Rebecca have made together so I'm going to talk about spoilers for now actually not right now what I'm going to do is is I'm going to just chat about the book itself and whereabouts I'm up to and what I've got to um, talk about and how I'm enjoying it and then I'm going to put a spoiler stamp down below and what I'll do is is I'll put the <clears throat> time that I start the spoiler and the time I finish it so that you can fast forward if you don't want to listen to me so so far we have met our main character and she has read the book and she has given the one star review and the author has come back and said please take it down you're hurting me financially people are going to read this review and they're not going to read my book and do you understand what you're doing and just goes completely off on one and there's a thread of messages back and forward with basically our main character saying, no, I'm not taking it down, it's a bad book. And, you know, positive or negative reviews, it's still publicity, whatever. So that's fine, we're going to chapter, sorry, that's the prologue, we're going to chapter one. And strange things are happening in the house that she's looking after. And it's quite creepy, actually, because it's on its own, looking over the sea, looking over the beach. And she's there with her dog, she's on her own. And she's starting to see, like sort of people in the house at night time uh, she's waking up from sleep and she sees a man in the corner but she doesn't actually know if it's real or it's just a dream and then we also go into <clears throat> finding out that she has a friend who lives just across the road and they have a telescope and um, that they sort of play hangman together during the day he's an older man called Dake and they get chatting and all that good stuff and yeah she sort of plays hangman with him and they chat on like whiteboards they write on whiteboards and chat to each other and that's cool so she has that sort of company during the day and yeah that's about where I'm at freaky things are just going on and I'm not sure how they're gonna sort of come to pass at the end it feels a bit like there's a lot of things being thrown into the story at the moment at the start which i think will become integral and really really <clears throat> sort of important later on in the book so if you haven't noticed or have forgotten some of these things that are happening at the start of the book then they may not just become apparent until you read about them later on the book but it's it's really really good i mean i'm, I'm flying through it um you know, I'm nearly 50 pages in 
and me and Rebecca are voice noting each other back and forward and it's just fab so yeah I'm really really enjoying it so for this part I'm going to get into spoilers now so I'll pick the minute of the video here with spoilers along and then once I'm finished talking I will put the timestamp for when that's finished so that you can fast forward so yes spoiler I have a prediction Rebecca has a prescription or prediction very early on we're calling that we think it's Dake who she's talking to through the telescope because <clears throat> when they were chatting and they were sort of chatting about personal things and chatting about each other he knew her name he called her by her name and she goes into quite a lot of detail saying that she's an introvert and she doesn't like meeting new people and she doesn't like talking to new people and she doesn't tell anybody her name and she doesn't give any of her personal information away and he calls her by her name and it's like what how does he know her name so yeah it's an early prediction it could be a red herring who knows there's chucky behind me who knows you know it is just it's something that's been thrown in and i wonder if it'll come to light next in the next uh sort of few you know 100 pages but yeah i think i'll probably check in with you every 50 pages maybe 100 i feel as if it's going to be a one sitting i'm going to read it today orange just come back in and he's watching the United match, so I have a couple of hours to read here, uninterrupted, and I'm gonna enjoy it. I've got a cup of tea and some chocolate. So yeah, gonna get back up into bed here and I'll come back and chat to you with a wee bit more once I start reading again. Two thousand years later. Hey guys, do you ever get whenever you're reading a book and you're so invested in it that you forget to update your vlog and before you know it you are <laughs> 177 pages in to just over halfway into the last word so non-spoiler I am loving this book it is creepy as shit and it's just oh, left right and center bullets boom 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 throw on every every thriller trope and trick in the book and it's amazing I'm absolutely here for it and I'm loving it I've just taken a quick break to go to the shop and get some food for dinner so I'm gonna take an hour's break now and um, it's around about half five and then me and Rebecca are gonna go at it again from seven we're hoping to have a finish by maybe nine half nine with about a couple of hours left it says on I think Rebecca's Kindle copy so yeah it's amazing absolutely loving it sitting on a five star already hopefully Hopefully it doesn't go downhill, hopefully it continues to go the way it's going. So I'm going to get into spoilers right now, I'm going to go into spoilers. So I have many theories, obviously we have many characters. We have found out already that the stalker and the author of the one star review book is basically writing books about things that have happened. Well I think that they're He's been a, he's a serial killer and he's been killing all these people and he's been writing books about them and he's been selling them and it's it's maybe it, it could be I mean I'm at the stage where me and Rebecca actually think that all of these people who have died have given one star reviews to the books that he's written and she's now basically the next one and I sort of think that she may the author sort of um, it's being written from his point of view where he's saying about our main character Emma being dead already and how she's been killed and how he's killed her and all of that stuff but I don't believe that she's dead I feel as if she's going to maybe stay alive because she's read the previous books she's read all of the books getting into Dick, which is her friend across the road that she chats to and plays hangman with he was an author before and it seems that we're getting into where this man this author was also stalking him sending him manuscripts of all of his books he was ignoring them he then was sort of stalking his daughters and he had to get a restraining order and it's just like who do you trust I, I don't know who to trust you know i don't know if our main character emma is an unreliable narrator is she actually narrating the book is she real you know what's going on also the owner of the house jules no idea what's happened there she's sort of in and out of the story and when asked about this person and asked about the author this you know protagonist obviously the serial killer who we think she's very nasty about him and says really nasty things about him so I don't know I just don't know I don't know I just have no theories I have no theories like I was chatting to Rebecca earlier on I was like Rebecca any theories at all and she's like no I have no I don't know what to think um other than what I've just told you now we're like totally in the dark but it's just 
so captivating. It's short, snappy chapters, which I love. Multiple POVs. We're reading from the killer as well. He's written all of these books and his thoughts and how he's been stalking Emma for such a long time and all of this stuff. And it's like, what is going on? Because my mind is just gone. I have no idea. So yes, getting back into it. As I say, I'm over halfway and I am going to hopefully then read on. I've only a couple of hours left of the um, Kindle, I think, as Rebecca said. So two and a half hours left. I'm over halfway. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll hopefully come back in and update you a bit more. Hopefully every 50 pages, 100 pages, maybe each part. I'm not sure. There's four parts to this story. So fingers crossed. I continue to love it and I'll check back in with you very, very soon. Okay, so spoilers, spoilers, just a quick interlude here. Chapter 19, I am just reading chapter 19 and it is, the way it's written is amazing. So we're getting sort of Emma's point of view. So she's telling a bit about how her attacker's attacking her and how she's attacking back. And then maybe like um, a paragraph down, we'll then get from the um, serial killer's point of view and they don't, they don't tie up they don't they're not the same they they aren't telling exactly the same story so i think i think i think i think rebecca has already voice noted this to me the manuscript that we're reading from the sorry from the serial killer's point of view is just a manuscript it's just a story it's not actually happening i think what we're reading from emma's point of view is exactly what happened and what is happening so yeah, it's really, really smartly done. Really smartly done. I think if you haven't, unless you read the book, you'll maybe not know what I'm talking about, but it's a spoiler, so you will be watching me talking about it if you've already read it, so you'll understand what I'm trying to say. But, I mean, this has caught me for a loop. This book has caught me for a loop. I haven't read anything for the last week because I haven't wanted to pick anything up. And I'm at... 10 to 7 on Saturday evening and I've been reading this book for five hours and I'm just having the time of my life. This says a lot for this author and this writing and this is the second book that this author has done this with. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay guys, so I'm still sitting in the same place because I'm just reading in the library here. I've just managed to get to part four, which is the last part of the book. So I've only got this much left. I am currently on page, it's chapter 31, page 263. Uh, no spoilers here, just coming in to say, still enjoying it. Very confused in parts. I think that's okay though because it adds to the story and we're still reading from the two POVs of the what we think to be the serial killer and our main character Emma so no spoilers here in this clip just letting you know I'm plugging on and I'm still really enjoying it hey guys okay so it's the next day and I'm coming in to let you know I finished The Last Word by Taylor Adams and we need to talk about this book. We need to talk. This is a five star. This is the best book I've read this year. This is the best book I've read from this author and I absolutely loved it. The ending, the only, well, the only criticism I would have is the ending was really good. It was the further endings after that that sort of, I was like, right, well, when is this ever going to end? But it was just so satisfying. It was so good. And I just absolutely loved it. So yes, five stars. Yes, I have really, really enjoyed vlogging this for you. I'm going to go into spoilers in a second. But for the non-spoiler part, five stars, guys. Love this. Hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully I'll pick this uh, book up as well. Because it's only a new release. And yeah, I'm going to go now into spoilers. So yeah, spoiler time. So guys, you've read this. You know what I'm going to say. What the heck, dicks, I did not see coming. Rebecca saw it coming. I was a wee bit iffy on it. And yeah, I knew that, okay. So we're gonna go through it very, very logically because I could just get carried away here chatting to you guys about it. So we've our characters, so we've got Emma. We didn't know what had happened with Emma and Sean. We never knew what had happened with her husband. We just knew that there was a car accident and we, t we presumed that he was dead. 
Then we go on to um, Dix, who was our friend that she chatted to, played hangman with, lived across the road, telescopes, all that good stuff. Dix, in my mind, wasn't bad. Rebecca wasn't sure about him the whole way through, so fair play to her. She called that one. Then we have the serial killer, the Howard, the other main character. Was he writing a book? Was it a manuscript? Was he killing? Was he a serial killer? Was he killing all of his victims and then writing the books about it? That's what my theory was. And then we had Jules, who is the owner of the house in which he was living in. And I have said throughout to you guys and to everybody, Rebecca, my partner Aaron, who was talking to throughout, I didn't trust her. She was in and out and in and out. She was really random. Some of the things that she said, she was really random. She got her, she she bought Emma a stun gun and you know, it was just, there was a lot of things that just didn't add up when it came to Jules as well. Wow. Okay, so Jules was the, the, the mother of Howard who was what we thought was a serial killer. He wasn't killing. He had killed someone way back in school, one of his, his school friends, by accident. Um, He tied her up and then she'd fallen. When he'd went back to get her, she had obviously you know asphyxiation she had strangled she strangled herself and that had happened and then he killed the FedEx guy which was mental and then it turned out that Dix was in on it all along and that Dix knew what was going on and Dix was setting our main character up yes hell yes I am totally here for it I am not like I have read a lot of thrillers in my time but I don't know what it was about this book I didn't see this coming, this ending. Rebecca was throwing at me left, right and centre theories, this, 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 this and this. I was agreeing with a lot of those theories. They weren't building up to a bigger picture in my mind until the end. And then we've just, we had a chat last night and she was like, Barbara, I completely predicted so much of this, what was going to happen. But I didn't see the ending coming and it was just like, oh my God. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. As I say, the only criticism I have uh, which the normal people would maybe take it down by half a star or a star and give it a five stars. I absolutely love the book. I'm going to recommend this to anybody that will listen to me. The only criticism I have is maybe that have the ending and that's the ending. Don't have like four more chapters of endings, if that makes sense. Don't keep going. Just have an ending and finish it and that's it done. And yeah, that's the only criticism I have. But as I say, it is not like this. Oh. This book was amazing. If you've read it, chat to me down in the comments. I want to know exactly what you thought of it. I want to know what you thought of the ending. Spoiler free, obviously, because there's going to be people watching this video who haven't read the book. I implore you, I implore you, if you haven't read the book, then please read the book. It is amazing. It's going to be talked about for a while now in the book community, I feel. So yeah, I just absolutely loved this one. And it was just... Oh, can't believe I read it in one sitting last night. It was just what I needed because it was in a bit of a funk just with reading and this is exactly what I needed. So guys, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have had a mountain and a ton of fun filming it for you and it's been the first time I've actually filmed this kind of vlog for the channel, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Again, chat to me down below. If you like to give it a thumbs up, if you're here for bookish content and you want to stick around, then please hit the subscribe button. It would help support my channel so, so much. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I've loved making this content. So yeah, I will probably just catch up with you in the very next video.